guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my um, basic makeup look um, today, and that is eyebrows, mascara, and concealer. Sometimes I throw in other things like bronzer and eyeliner and other things like that, but I'm not sure if I want to go that depth because if you can tell in the corner over here, it's dark and I'm going to be removing it afterwards anyways, so we'll see. Anyways, um, I'm going to start with my concealer. It is my Rimmel London Matte Perfect Concealer. Um, I need a mirror, so hang on. This will work. So basically what I do is I pick out the most troubled spots. Like I don't um, do my under eye usually or like major areas like my nose. I just pick like little spots like right here. Um, that are noticeable in real life. Maybe not on the camera, but in real life for sure. So I'm, I'm gonna have my camera, um, down below. Or, not my camera, my mirror. Um, but I will be picking spots that might not show up on the camera, and then I'm just gonna blend it out my finger. So like, there's a spot right here, here, right here on my chin, on my nose, or side of my nose. Um, there's a spot here. I'm going to take one of my, either my pointer finger or my middle finger. Normally for me it's my middle finger. And I'm just going to rub it out on the spots that I put it. Alright, so... As you can see, some of the spots that were there before on my camera are now gone. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which is honestly one of my more like favorite things to do, but also really irritating. So I'm gonna take this spoolie here. I actually need to get a new one. This one's really old. Um, and I'm just gonna take my mirror and I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows, so outwards. And there is color on this, so color does show up when I brush my eyebrows just because there's color left over on this, as you can tell right about here and here. Um, and then I'm going to take this angled eyeliner brush, um, which is actually what I used to fill in my really thin eyebrows. And then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a lighter... Um, Cold, on like cold undertone brown, but it's really nice for my eyebrows, and I'm gonna do that on the um, inner corners of my eyebrows, starting from the inner corner and feathering out, up and out, and there starts to be become a formation of an eyebrow. Blur out the front a little bit, so it's not so block-like. Pick up a little bit more color. Same thing, start from the inside, feather it out so that there becomes a shade. Make sure you feather out the corner so you don't get these like misshaped into eyebrows. Sometimes you need to go back and forth to make sure that they're even. Um, this one on this side is always thicker than this side. Um, I think that's just the shape of my eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in with this darker color here. And that's the color I'm going to use on the outer corner because it's kind of like, for me, it's kind of like contouring your face, but with your eyebrows, you start with the lighter shade on the inside, darker shade on the outside. And then you just, I lift my eyebrows up. That's how I get the true shape of my eyebrows because I have really thin eyebrows. And then I just lightly brush on the tail, fill in any bald spots. Sometimes I do go in to the inside just to darken it up a little because it's not the preferred shade, but usually whatever I get is what I stick with. Um, that's really dark, but now I'm going to go back in with that lighter shade and fill in the front just a little bit more to my choice, the way I like my eyebrows looking. And as you can see, my eyebrows are really prominent 
and I don't like my eyebrows to be very prominent when um, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, so I'll take my the same mirror and the same spoolie, and I'll go back in and I'll brush them out so that they become a little more natural in a sense, um, so that they don't dominate my face. And there you go, that's a lot of difference for me, um, until I guess I just do that until I get the shade. Sometimes I have to go back in a couple times. Um, now all that's left is my Essence Volume Stylist Mascara, which is my favorite so far. Actually, um, another beauty guru, Tati Westbrook, recommended this to me, and I actually love it. Like, I don't wear falsies because I wear glasses, I just don't wear my glasses during my videos because it's um, difficult to wear falsies. I mean, I've never done it, but I just think, you know, if you wear falsies, make your eyelashes bigger, so what's the point in wearing falsies if you have glasses on? They're going to touch your glasses. And I don't like it when my natural lashes touch my glasses, so why would I like it when falsies do it? Anyways, that's just another rant for me wanting context. So I'm just going to take this mirror and bring it real close, and then I'm just going to look and do my mascara. Like, I don't have great camera camera quality, but this eye clearly looks, like, way nicer. Like, there's such a difference in the quality, or not quality, but how my eyelashes look. Like, it's falsies in a tube for me, and that's good enough. So I'm just going to go back in and shake up my mascara a little bit, if that does anything. And then I'm just going to go back in with a second coat. I mean, come on, that is great. I love it. Um, it is a little more clumpy than other mascaras I've used, but for, I think, what, this is probably under three dollars, that's amazing, and I will probably end up buying this for the rest of my life until they no longer make it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to go in and do the other eye and fast forward to this, and yeah. guys think? I really like this mascara. So this is the most basic I will usually go. Sometimes I'll add like a lip gloss or something on top. Like this is my favorite. I got this last year for my birthday from Ulta and it's really nice. And maybe this isn't last year, maybe this is two years ago. I know, I probably should keep stuff like that. But it's a really pretty pink shade, and it's called, it's from Bare Minerals, and it's called Marvelous Moxie, and it's actually in the shade Birthday Babe, which I think is great. It looks like this in the tube. Looks pretty decent on my lips. Um, and then that's it. Uh, sometimes I'll take, like, a fan brush, and I'll go in with a, with a nice bronzer, and 
load up my makeup brush, go in like this to give myself a little bit of a contour. Um, the most thing for me that takes up a lot of time is uh, actually foundation and eye makeup. Like, I know eye makes someone obvious, but for a person that wants to have, like, flawless looking skin when she wears um, makeup, I don't spend a lot of time, um, or I spend way more time than I probably should on um, blending in my foundation. But anyways, so that adds a little bit of ump right here. Um, sometimes I'll take my highlighter and I'll do blush in the next, in a second. And I'll just take my highlighter and I'll put that on right here. Um, just to give myself a little bit of sparkle and shine and stand out. Just a little bit. And then I'll take my blush brush, um, personally. And I'm going to take this really old blush from Essence called 20 Baby Doll. Um, with my blush, blush brush, and smile, and bring it back. Smile, bring it back. Smile, bring it back. Smile, bring it back. And then I always end up putting on too heavy of blush, like it's a curse of mine. So I just go back in with my um, my powder brush, which I didn't have to use today because I didn't put on foundation, and just blend out a little bit. So, as you can see um, on the camera monitor, this actually does a lot more than you think. You don't need to put on like a whole bunch of eye makeup and, and foundation to do something that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, it doesn't take much. Like I said, um, the transition was just a few products um, and it's only, you know, a couple minutes, maybe like 10 minutes or so depending on um, how long you take to blend anything else out. But um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like it, um, comment down below, hit that notifications bell, and subscribe, please. Um, Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!